Okay, so in this example, we're being asked to find the equation of the parabola using the distance formula. Now, notice here we are given some information. We are given the directrix, which is x equals negative 3, and we're given the focus. Now, before we start this problem, there is an easier way to do this, right? Um, and we've talked about that way in the past. So, for example, if we go ahead and just draw out our parabola here, because based on this information, we already know the orientation of this parabola. So for example, just drawing out a quick coordinate grid, we know that our directrix is going to be at x equals negative 3. So we're going to go over negative 3 on the x and just make a vertical dashed line. Again, this doesn't have to be perfect, just get a quick illustration. And then our focus is at 2 comma 0. So again, going positive 2 on the x, here's our focus. And we know that since our directrix is at x equals negative 3 and our focus is at 2 comma 0, right, our parabola is going to be something like this. Okay, so it's going to be opening to the right. All right, and from this information that we're given, we're then able to get the vertex, right, we're able to get our vertex, and we're also able to get this distance P here. Now, P is the distance going from the directrix to the vertex. It's also going to be the distance going from the vertex to the focus. Okay, so these two distances are the same. We call it P, right? And there's an equation we can use. So since we're dealing with a horizontal parabola, we can use the following equation, which is X minus H equal to, we're going to have 1 over 4P. Right, and then times y minus k squared. So from this, you would plug in your information, right? h and k, those are the values of your vertex, which we can find based on this information. And then p, well, again, that's the distance going from the directrix to the vertex and from the vertex to the focus. Now, since our parabola is opening to the right, p is going to be greater than 0, or in other words, p is going to be positive, okay? So when we plug it in, we make sure that we plug P in, it's positive. And that's how you could get the equation of this parabola. We've talked about how to do this in the past, so please watch those videos where we go over this. But that's not what the question is asking. The question is asking us to use the distance formula to find the equation of this parabola. Okay? So let's talk about how we're going to do that. So let's erase this. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw our parabola off to the side again so we get a better representation of how we're going to do this problem. So just drawing in our coordinate grid again. And again, this does not have to be perfect. We're just going to put in our directrix, which is x equals negative 3. So 1, 2, 3, negative 3. And let's just draw a vertical dashed line. Okay, there we are. Putting in our focus, which is going to be 2, 0, so 1, 2, right here. Okay, and we're ready to go ahead and do this problem. So, let's draw in our parabola, which we know the general shape is going to be something that looks like this, right? So, using the distance formula to solve this problem, we're going to start at the directrix, right, which is x equals negative 3. And what we're going to do is we're going to draw a horizontal line going to any point on this parabola. Now, it doesn't matter where you start on this directrix. Just pick a point. Okay, so I'll just pick right here. All right, this is fine. And what I'm going to do is draw a horizontal line going right to my parabola. Okay, so this is a horizontal line going right to my parabola. There we are. And then I'm going to draw a line going directly to my focus from this point here on our parabola. So we'll have something like this. Now here's what you need to know. Although my picture is not drawn to scale here, these distances are always going to be equal no matter what. All right, so wherever you draw, these two lines are always going to be equal. So I could have picked a point up here, gone to my parabola, and then gone to my focus. Those lines will always be equal. And that's how we're going to use the distance formula to find the equation of this parabola. So what I'm going to do is fill in my information. This point here is going to be negative 3. Now, I don't know what the y value is, but that's okay, and you'll see why. So I'm just going to put y here. This point here, we have no idea what that is. We're just going to call it xy. So xy. And then our focus, which is going to be 2, comma 0. Okay? 
Now from this we can use the distance formula. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this distance here, then I'm going to find this distance here, I'm going to set them equal to each other, and then we'll be able to find the equation of this parabola. So the distance formula is going to be the following. We have the square root of, okay, and then we're going to have x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, right? That's going to be the distance formula. So let's go ahead and find this distance going from here to here. We'll call that distance 1. Now for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and call this x2, y2. This will be x1, y1. So just filling in our information. x2 is going to be x. Our x1 is negative 3. So two negatives make a positive, so positive 3. This will be squared. Okay. And then y2 minus y1, well that's just going to be y minus y squared. This whole thing is just going to be zero there, right? So essentially we have distance 1 equals the square root of x plus 3 squared. There's distance 1. I'm going to go ahead and record that. So distance 1 equals the square root of, and we have x plus 3 squared. Now let's work on distance 2, which is going to be from here to here. Okay? So doing the same thing. I'm just going to call this x2, y2. This will be x1, y1. So distance 2. Okay, so x2 is going to be x. Right? x1 is going to be 2. Okay, y2 is y. And y1 is 0. So we get distance 2 equals the square root of x minus 2 squared plus y squared. Okay? So let's record that. Distance 2 equals the square root of x minus 2 squared plus y squared. Okay? So now that we have both of our distances, we're going to set them both equal to each other. Okay? And then solve, and we'll get the equation of this parabola. So let's go ahead and erase this. We're done. Setting them equal to each other, let's start with distance 1. So we get the square root of, and we get x plus 3 squared equal to the square root of x minus 2 squared plus y squared. Alright, let's erase this. So what we want to do is get rid of these square roots. In order to do that, we're simply just going to square both sides. And when we do that, we get the following, x plus 3 squared equal to x minus 2 squared plus y squared. Okay? So now that you have it at this point, you simply want to expand out what you have here and here. You can do that using FOIL. You can probably do it in your head. So just doing this out, we get x squared, okay, plus 6x plus 9, okay? Then we get here x squared minus 4x plus 4 plus y squared, okay? So we just expanded those out. If you need to write it out and do FOIL, go ahead. And what we want to do at this point is start moving our terms over to the left side. So I'm going to minus x squared here, add 4x, and then minus 4. Let's start with those. So minus x squared plus 4x minus 4. Okay, so again, this cancels, cancels, cancels. Well, my x squared minus x squared, I cancels. Here I get 10x, and then here I get plus 5. Okay, and this is all going to be equal to y squared. Okay, so since our parabola is horizontal, we want this to say x equals. So let's go ahead and subtract 5 now on both sides. Doing that, we get 10x equals y squared minus 5. Now we're almost done. We just need to divide by 10. So doing that, you get x equals y squared divided by 10. And then we get negative a half. Okay? This is now complete. This is going to be the equation of our 
parabola, which we just solved using the distance formula. Okay, and that is it.